Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Kim Vasquez and I do a variety of different videos from home decor to hauls to DIYs, family stuff, um, cooking stuff. My daughter's dancing in the background and so it's pretty distracting. But yes, I my, my channel is a variety of different things. So if this is your first time joining me, welcome. Um, I hope that you enjoy my channel for what it is. For those of you guys who are longtime subscribers, thank you so much. And for new ones, welcome. So I don't know if I said that already. Anyways, I wanted to do a haul. Now, I've purchased the stuff. Um, it's been a few weeks now. I've actually started using some of the stuff, and some of the stuff has been um, used in decorations in my house. But I've been meaning to do this haul, and I haven't done it, so I'm doing it right now. I actually look decent. I kind of have myself together, or it looks like I have myself together. So I thought, you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna go for it. I had a different shirt on. I'm gonna be honest. I just threw this sweatshirt on. It's like 90 degrees outside because it's Texas, and Texas is always hot, and it's November. But I don't know why I felt like I had to throw that out there. But I'm sweating and I'm hot, and I'm doing it for you guys. So let's just start with World Market. So when I went, to, my sister gave me a gift certificate for World Market and I went to go use it. They didn't really have anything that I wanted. It was kind of like, I feel like October is kind of like a transitional time so it's really hard to find things. Or maybe, I don't know, they were just kind of like, it wasn't even October. Yeah, it was October. I just felt like they were kind of like in the midst of getting summer stuff put away and bringing out the fall stuff. So I didn't really find anything I really, really liked. but. Um, I did pick up a couple things that I needed or that I think we needed anyway. So one of the things I got is this cute little cat timer. Um, I, it is, it's a gray kitty. Um, I really, his name is Mr. Kitty, my daughter has said. I use this to keep track of, um, or help my daughter keep track of time um, as far as how long she's taking when she's doing her homework or how long she's taking when she's cleaning her room. And so I've noticed that this is helping her keep on track because she's able to look at it and see, oh, I only have five minutes left. Or um, if it rings, it's, you should be done already. So um, I really like this. It kind of helps her with time management. It also kind of helps me to remember, to remind her about her time management. The other thing I got is a book and it is The Day the Crowns Came Home. And this is a whole series of books um, they had like The Day the Crowns Quit, and I think they have a couple other ones. I'm not quite sure. I actually read this book one day when I was subbing, and I thought it was like the craz the cutest book ever. And so um, I had to, when I saw it there, I had to, um, at World Market, I had to pick it up. So it's really cute. It it's basically the crowns writing to their owner on these little postcards from all over the place and saying, um, like, oh, you left me here, and here's the situation. Um, both my kids really enjoy this book and I really enjoy it too. Let's go with my Target one. Okay, so I did pick up some home stuff. Did I pick up any home stuff? No, I just picked up like one home thing and the rest is like accessories or clothing or something like that. So um, I have been on a hunt for a good pair of salt and pepper shakers for the kitchen table. Um, because we were transferring our salt, the salt and pepper shakers that I already had, which I also think I got from Target um, a couple years back. They were, I kept switching them back and forth from the stove area when I was cooking and then the kids would need it or my husband would need it when we were eating dinner. So I got another set and I didn't want to just get anything. I wanted to get Sorry, some my phone cut off. So believe it or not, I found, I, I mean, like, or believe it or not, it was really, a search it was a struggle to find a pair of salt and pepper shakers I don't know why I was having such a hard time finding and committing to anything but when I saw these I knew why these are so cute are you ready for it okay like I don't even I don't even know how to explain the happiness that these things bring me they like my kids are looking at me they're watching me film which is kind of weird but I got these t-rex salt and pepper shakers from Target and it just I wasn't even going to Target to look for these. I just kind of like was like, well, let me walk by. Walk by. I saw these and I was like, what? Yes, get in my cart now. I don't even care how much you cost. But they were only like three bucks. And they have these cute little golden bow ties. And like, you know, they play. So we, um, I really like it. I think it brings like 
such personality to my kitchen table and the kids really liked it. It was yes, I think out of everything that I have in this pile, these are probably the thing that I was like the most excited about and I love them. So, do you love them? Comment down below. And I got was this purse. This purse, it was from Target and it was on clearance, I think for like 12 bucks. It was originally like I think almost 25, 30 bucks, but I got it for $12. And um, I'm really into, and you will see a trend, I am into black, white, and gray. But yeah, I got this purse and I really love it because all the other purses I have right now are really, um, what are they? They're really small. And so this, I can just put any of my books, not any of my books, but like if I need to study or whatever, I'm doing a lot of reading and stuff, I can throw one of the books in here or in a spiral and take notes in here. I've been using it, it's been handy, and I've been really working hard on not overfilling it. Are this, um, and I've already worn this, I actually had to pull it out of the, what's it called? But it's the, um, it's a flannel shirt, and it kind of, um, has that high-low thing, but what I like is it doesn't go really high. Actually, it's not high-low, it's actually just pretty long, and that's what I really liked about it, was that I could wear it with, like, leggings, but it's long enough, it's gonna cover, you know, parts that we don't want to be having exposed and that we shouldn't be having exposed. So I really like it and of course it's black, gray, and white. Um, the other shirt I got was this one and I've worn it already. Um, I just got it out of the dryer so it's like it needs to be ironed. But it's just this blue top and again it's long in the back and I'll do like maybe a try on video one day um, of how I style these things or whatever. But, um, I really like it. It was I think I paid like seven or eight bucks for it. And so I needed something that was because I have a lot of workout tops, but I don't have a really nice tops but are casual. So um and then one of the other shirts I got that I really, really, really like is um this shirt. And I feel like this is gonna be my color this season, as if I'm so um fashion forward. But um I have this greenish olive color shirt now it looks like it's pretty see-through but um i wear like like a white camisole underneath or um just a tank top underneath and it's not a problem i've even been really risky and worn it just as is and as long as you have like a tan bra or something like that you're fine um so it's not like revealing or anything like that but i really like this i usually don't like scoop necks like this but this one works and it's really long and flowy. I actually wear these with shorts because it's hot in Texas right now. But um, I wore them with white shorts. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be wearing white anymore because it's after Labor Day. I don't know. I might be doing some sort of fashion no-no. But I really like them with white shorts. And this color I feel like, well you can't really see. But I feel like it looks really good with my eyes. My last outfit that I have, and this is actually an outfit that I got for my friend's wedding. So I'm super excited about it. It's on a cruise ship. I'm not going on the cruise, and they're just having their wedding on a cruise. So um, I, I, I still have the tags on it. It was originally $24.99, and I got it for $17.48. And um, it is this black romper, and it's really like, it doesn't do it justice, and I don't have long enough arms, but it's, it's this really cute black romper. And um, it's like there's the little shorts right there, but it looks dressy, but it's kind of casual at the same time. And um, I don't feel very comfortable when I'm wearing dresses, and so this I felt was a great compromise. So I'm really excited to wear this little necklace right here. Let me hold it up. So, so um, I think the, yeah, this was on clearance, and it was like under five dollars I don't remember how much it is but I actually really like it paired with the green shirt surprisingly and the blue shirt that I bought and finally my trip to Ikea yes my trip to Ikea so I um, was in desperate need of new pillows I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money on pillows especially because I kind of wanted them to be not plain but just very neutral and stuff like that and then later on purchase pillows that have more detail um, I'm also, not only am I redoing my family living room, but I am also redoing the kids game room. So I was in need of some new pillows, so it took me to, 
and for inexpensive so I took myself to Ikea because I needed it for both um, rooms and I didn't want to spend a lot of money um, especially for neutral pillows so um, the first pillow I got for the kids game room is this cat pillow and oh it's upside down no it's not why does it look like it's upside down on there oh there we go so um it's black and white and it has this cute little cat or these like this cat print on it um i actually first saw this house of aqua had it and i was like oh my gosh these are so cute and i actually they have matching curtains and i might get the matching curtains for the playroom as well the next thing i got was this cute penguin pillow now I, like it's very linty. I don't know if you get if it, the camera's really picking it up and it's getting kind of dingy already. It is white and it is felt. We have a cat, we have a dog, and I have two kids. So I don't know if this was the wisest choice, but I am obsessed with penguins, and so I had to get this. I actually am thinking about getting another one for um, for my downstairs living room for the holidays because. One of our Christmas trees, because we have like two Christmas trees, and um, one of the Christmas trees is a penguin theme. The only thing is, I will warn you, because it's like that velvet material and it is white, like you can see, like, my cat doesn't even lay on this pillow, but you can see her hair on it. So, just forewarned you, I warned you. So the next thing I got was this black pillow, and the only issue I have with it is that it, um, and it's not a pillow, it's a pillow cover. So it's a covering of an existing pillow, but I really like that it's a cover so I can just take it off and wash it. And I think that was one of the main reasons why I got my pillows from Ikea was so that I can take the cover off and wash them because I do have pets and I do have kids and I'm a mess and I will probably spill something on it. But, um, you know, some wine or something like that. But, <laughs> but um, I really like them. Um, they're thick quality. They're really good quality. Um, only thing is, because it is black, it picks up like a, you can really see lint on it. So every so often, you gotta rub a lint brush over it. But they're it's a really good quality. And then the last pillow I got. Um, oh, I got I got two of the black pillows, and then I got two of these pillows. But I only I'm only bringing one. Um, but I got this pillow right here, and I've always wanted this pillow. I've seen it on Pinterest. I've seen it on other people's channels, and. I really really like it so one is on one sofa and the other one is on the love seat um, I thought about getting one more for my sofa but it's just such a busy pattern so I might find something else um, to put on the other side of my sofa but yeah for right now this is what I have and I really like it this again is a pillow cover and so you just unzip it and you can throw it in the wash if anything were to spill on it and the last thing that I have is actually a DIY. Houston and Katie, there, there's these um, ladies that do, I've seen a couple different people doing it, but this lady is out of Katie, and she does these things called pallet parties, and uh, basically she gets old pallets, she removes the wood from, from the pallets, and then re-hinges um, them, like so. And then on the other side, you can paint um, whatever design, like you tell her what design you're looking for, and you can paint the design and she goes over the steps and she makes the stencils for you and I did this with some girlfriends and it was a lot of fun if you're in the Katy or, or the Houston area um, I will leave her information linked down below she has no idea that I'm linking her down below so if you check her out let her know that um, I sent you her way but yeah um, this was a really fun night with some girlfriends and um, she can come to you but on this particular night we went to her place and which was really nice because we didn't have to clean up afterwards even though she does clean up if she goes to your house it was just nice to not have to worry about having it in your home just totally she has so many different designs this was just a design that I had showed her from Pinterest or Pinterest and so she was able to make it for me and um, I really like it this is all I have I really hope that you guys enjoyed it if you have not done so please subscribe it really helps me out I also have snapchat which I'm trying to get better at participating in, and I've been doing pretty well, I think. I, I mean, I at least have a couple snaps at a time. My name is Kim, K-I-M, and then B, Vasquez, um, on Snapchat. So look for me there. I will also put a link down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you. I totally forgot something else. I knew I was forgetting something else, and I knew I was going to forget it. Um, 
I also got something else at Target, but it is too um, big or too long. Actually, I'm gonna try. Let me try it. So I went and ran and grabbed this because I almost forgot it. Like I said, some of the stuff I've already hung up, but I didn't want to forget about this because I was super excited about it. Um, this is um, that um, by Nate Berkus, that brand that uh, or that designer that Target is carrying, and it is a huge or not huge, but it's a really long tapestry. And it was originally like thirty something dollars, and I got it on clearance for like twelve bucks or something. I wish I could remember, but I know I didn't spend that much. I know it was like. It was, it was pretty, I mean, it was under 15 bucks. Got to put that in there, so I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys now. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I will see you guys in the next one. Why can't I do that more often whenever I do my, like, sign outs? I'm always making it so awkward. So, I like this one. I'm going to keep this sign out. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.